it's Ma with Caldi's Coffee. Today we're gonna be making an espresso using a Flare Pro 2. Let's go! <laughs> Making coffee at home is a daily routine for millions and millions of people across the globe. Whether it's making a pot of coffee in your Mr. Coffee in the morning, sticking a coffee pot in your Keurig, or using an elaborate pour over setup in your kitchen. But espresso at home, like good legit espresso at home, it seems out of reach. And why is this? Well, it's expensive and complicated. Making espresso is all about achieving extraction by putting both hot water and very finely ground coffee under intense pressure for a short period of time. The first problem for a home setup is having a grinder that'll grind fine enough to make espresso. The electric burr grinders used in the cafes for their bar setups are thousands of dollars, and the few quality electric grinders for a home setup also cost close to $1,000. The other issue? Shelling out another thousand or more dollars to install an espresso machine that can put a finely ground puck of coffee and superheated water under eight to nine bars of pressure. And in the end, all you get is a little two ounce cup of espresso. And I don't know about you, but I would just walk to a cafe because it's not worth it. <laughs> there is good news though. Recently, devices such as this Flare 2 Pro have been popping up on the market. This, along with a few other items that you may already own if you're a coffee nerd, can make some insanely good espresso for a fraction of the cost. It's also pretty easy to use, and with the right workflow, has a speedy setup and breakdown. There's a small learning curve when it comes to dialing in initially, but once you're familiar with the process, it's actually really fun to play with variables such as grind size, water temperature, and pressure to get the best tasting shot for the coffee you're using. So what other bits of kit do you need? You'll need a good hand grinder that will grind fine enough for espresso. We'll put a link to a great video comparing different hand grinders by Lance Hedrick up here. You'll also need a hot water kettle, preferably one with a gooseneck. I'll explain why later. A scale with a timer and coffee, of course. I do recommend you go with a more developed or slightly darker roasted coffee if you're just starting out dialing in since they're a little bit more forgiving than something on the lighter side. Okay, so let's take this apart and see what we're working with. First, you have your handle, which you'll use to apply pressure onto your shot of espresso. You're gonna measure that pressure using this pressure gauge, which comes out like so. You'll be able to measure how many bars of pressure you're putting on your shot of espresso using that. Next, you'll have, please hold, there you go, your basket, which you'll use to dose your shot of espresso into, which will then tamp, Put this little guy right here. After that, you got your dispersion screen, which will disperse water evenly over your bed of espresso. And finally, you have your chamber, which you'll pour your hot water into for your espresso shot. It's important to note that you're gonna need to preheat that with hot water before using it for your actual shot because it needs to stay all the same temperature. All right, let's talk about the recipe we'll be using. It's very simple. We'll be putting 15.5 grams of ground coffee in and getting 31 to 32 grams of espresso out. We have found that this recipe pulls out just the right amount of sweetness and acidity from the coffee we're using today. Our limited release, the Americona blend. Let's pull some shots and try it out. Yeah. Hey yo. Hey ya. Flare to pro. <laughs> Do you use that in the oh, video? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I swear, it's Jonah, insane. you're gonna be f All right, so let's get started with making our shot of espresso. The first thing we're gonna wanna do is get our kettle warming up. So we're gonna set that to 212 degrees Fahrenheit and let that preheat. All right, while that water is heating up, the next thing we're gonna do is dose out our coffee. For our recipe, we're gonna be using 15.5 grams. However, our hand grinder will retain some grinds. So we're gonna dose a little bit more than we need. And now that our coffee is dosed and our water is ready, we're gonna go ahead and pour some hot water in this chamber. So we're gonna pop this cap on and go ahead and fill it up with hot water. 
It's really important to preheat your chamber ahead of time. All right, and then while this is preheating, we can go ahead and start grinding our coffee. I have to close this, oh. <laughs> All right, so we've already dialed in this coffee today. We're not gonna go too in depth in the dialing in process because that could honestly be a whole nother video that hopefully we'll be doing very soon. So you'll grab your basket and then put a funnel on top and then we can go ahead and tear this out on our scale. Now we'll pick this up and settle it so we have an even bit. So you're just gonna wanna give it light taps to level it out. Next, we'll grab our WDT or distributing tool and that will declump any clumps that we could have had from our grinder just by stirring it around. Give it another little level out. And now we're ready to tamp. Grab your tamp, and the important thing you're gonna want to know is just to keep it as level as possible. Once you press down, you only need enough pressure of the counter pushing back against you. So now our water's heated up, we have our puck ready to go, and everything's preheated, so we're going to assemble the chamber. We can pick this up and dump out the water we were using to preheat it, take the cap off the bottom. So we're gonna take our dispersion screen and put that on top of the basket. And now we're gonna take the chamber and set it right on top of the basket. Okay. So now that I've set this in here, we are going to fill it with water to that first line. Next, we're gonna grab the pressure gauge and place it right on top. Set our scale underneath and tear out our demi toss underneath so we can weigh our output. So to extract this shot, we're gonna start with a pre-infusion of 15 seconds at two to three bars of pressure. After that, we'll ramp up the pressure for another 15 seconds at seven to eight bars of pressure. And finally, ramp down the pressure until we hit the 32 grams of output that we would like for our espresso. Let's get started. All right, let's try it out. Stir your espresso to break any crema. Cheers. Mm. That's very nice. Mm. So like I said before, this has a really sweet overall flavor profile. It's also slightly acidic. I get notes of jam, like a deep berry jam, maybe like strawberry, blackberry, blueberry jam. Also notes of like a tropical acidity, like pineapple. And it's also got this deep chocolatey sweetness and a real richness to the overall cup. It's delicious. All right, so now we're gonna clean this up. I'm gonna show you the easy process to break this down. Then we're gonna be pulling another shot. Only this time we're gonna be using it to make an Americana with the Americana. Get it? I like my Americanos pretty strong. If you want more water or less water, you can vary that based on your preference. Add this shot right on top. Last thing we're gonna do is give it a little stir and break any crema.
and enjoy. Mm. So with the Americano version of the same coffee, you can still perceive some of the flavors that we had in just the espresso. However, by adding the hot water, a lot of them tend to transform, similar to when you have espresso by itself or in a cappuccino, right? So the adding of the hot water does dilute it slightly for a lighter mouthfeel. The overall flavor profile tends to soften, especially the acidity. So instead of a pineapple per se that we got before in the espresso, now it feels more like a clementine where it has that citric acid, but it's a lot softer and sweeter and more palatable. All right, y'all, thank you so much for tuning into our video today using a Flare 2 Pro to make an Americano with our Americona blend. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to be alerted on any future content we'll be releasing. Also, feel free to comment below on whether you've used the Flare 2 Pro before and what's helped you with dialing in your coffees. Also, please comment if there's any videos you'd like us to do in the future. Thank you so much. I've been Maud. And I'll see you next time.